Hey guys, welcome back to another Android video from Coding Stop. So I have come up with a new series all about Google Maps. In this series, uh, we will dive deep into the Google Maps as we will use multiple Google Maps APIs, uh, Google Places APIs and Google Directions APIs. So whether you are building a complex application like a travel app or delivery service app or just want to add some map functionality in your application, then this series has got you covered. So coming into this video, uh, we will cover the initial setup that is required to start using the Google Maps in your Android app. Alright, so I have created one empty project and it has nothing for now. So our layout file activity main is empty, our main activity is empty. So now in order to integrate Google Maps in our Android app, uh, we need to get a Google Map API key and then we also need to add some dependencies in our build.gradle files. So now uh, in order to get the map API key, so I'll provide this link uh, in the description box. So it's just a code labs from the Google. So they have given some steps here that we need to follow in order to integrate the Google Maps. So yeah, uh, we need to add the Maps SDK. So what I'll do, I'll click on the get setup. And here, uh, as you can see, it, it will ask us to create one account on the Google Cloud Console. And then we need to create one project inside that. And then with that, we can get the map api key so i'll just click on this cloud console or you can just search for google cloud console and that will take you to this page so i already have an account here so my dashboard will look like this in case uh, if you don't have any account on the google cloud console you can just create one it's pretty simple and then after creating the account so i already have some projects here but uh, in case if you don't have any project you can just click on this new project and create one new project. All right. So I'll click on this my first project. And I'll search for map SDK for Android. And I'll click on this map SDK for Android. So as you can see, this is already enabled as I already enabled it, but in your case, uh, it will be disabled. So what you just need to do, you just need to click on the enable button. So just like I have managed here, you will have enable button. So just click on that and this will be enabled. And after enabling this, uh, you will also need to add one billing method because this map SDK for Android is uh, is free for some personal use but as you uh, cross the limit that they provide so they will charge you based on that all right so now in order to get the map api key i'll click on the manage and then uh, we need to click on the keys and credentials so as you can see i have this maps api key so this maps API key is automatically generated uh, when I enable the map SDK for Android. But uh, you can also create another key. Just click on this create credential and API key. Then it will create one API key for you. And I will close, close this. So as you can see, this is uh, API key 2 uh, that we generated now. But uh, I'll delete it because we don't need uh, another API key. So I'll just delete it. Cool. So I'll use this maps API key in order to uh, display this key. We need to click on the show key. And then we can just copy this. And I will close it. And then we can go to the Android Studio. And what I will do, I'll go to the Gradle script and local properties. I'll create one variable here which will be maps key and this will be equals to the key that I copied. Cool. So we got our map key. Uh, now we need to add some dependencies. So I'll just close the uh, cloud console as we are done with this for now. And uh, then I'll click on the quick start. Uh, sorry, add Google Maps. We'll go here. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, when we add our API key, they are also suggesting us to write our API keys in the local dot properties file. And then uh, they are asking us to add this dependency maps platform dot secrets dot plugin, Gradle plugin. So this plugin will make our key uh, 
whatever we define it inside the local dot properties uh, it will make that key available as a build variables in android manifest file and using this plugin uh, we will remove the boilerplate code that we need to write uh, in order to read the api key from the local dot properties so we will use this plugin as it will remove the boilerplate code so i'll copy it and i'll go to the libs.version.toml and here we need to write our plugins so i'll duplicate this and i'll paste that over here from this first column to the start i'll i'll just cut it and i'll write it inside this id and then i'll copy the version so 1.3.0 i'll remove this and instead of version.ref kotlin i'll create another variable which will hold this value 1.3.0 and I'll name it as a maps secret and then I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here cool and we just need to change this name so I'll name it as a map secret cool and then we can just uh, use this plugin in our build.gradle project level file so i'll just duplicate this and we have map here so instead of jetbrains i'll write map and secret over here and we don't have the android so i'll just remove it and we also need to provide this uh, plugin inside our build.gradle model file which is app level file so i'll paste it over here as well and I'll not click on the sync now because we need another dependency. So we'll go down here and we need this uh, we need this play services maps. So I'll copy it. And again I'll go to the libs.version.toml file and I'll duplicate this. And from the start to the first column, I'll put it inside the group. And then from the first column to the version. I'll put it inside the name and then the lastly version so I'll cut it again and I'll go to the activity I'll duplicate it I'll paste the version and I'll name it as a Google Maps then again I'll copy the Google Maps and I'll paste it over here instead of activity and I'll change the name so Google Maps cool so google maps now we'll go to the build.gradle app level file and i'll duplicate the activity i'll paste the google.maps so google.maps and we don't have the activity so now uh, everything is fine i can click on the sync now and till then what we can do uh, yeah uh, we need to provide this metadata inside the android manifest file so i'll copy it and i'll go to the manifest file and here we need to paste it inside the application tag cool and we need to rename this google maps api key uh, to the maps key so i'll just change it so actually we are getting some issues so we just uh, go on to the libs.version.toml map secret and i'll just try to increment this version so i'll just click on the change to 2.0.1 and i'll try to sync this again and yeah and now it is synced uh, successfully with the upgraded version of the map secrets so our build.gradle file is happy and this one as well so i'll just close this and and inside the uh, android manifest file we also change the uh, value name so maps key that we have inside the local dot properties cool i'll close it i'll close the android manifest file and now we'll jump to the activity main so here what we need to do uh, as this is suggested that we need to use the fragment we can also use the map view but in the maps uh, two google maps v2 uh, they suggest us to use the fragment instead of map view so i'll paste that fragment over here and again it will ask us to use the 
fragment container view which is coming from the android x and instead of class uh, we need to name it as we need to name it as a name instead of class so i'll just constrain it in vertical in parent and in horizontal in parent and i'll change the width and height to 0 dp and yeah uh, now we can go to the main activity and here what i will do uh, over here first of all i'll just find the id of our fragment so val map fragment and this will be equals to support fragment manager dot find fragment by id and the id will be rt r dot id dot map fragment so we need to type cast it so i'll write as and as it is nullable so we need to provide the question mark as well support map fragment cool and then we can use this map fragment so map fragment question mark dot get map async and as it provides the lambda we can just uh, simply write like this and we'll get the google map but uh, i'll not suggest it are uh, doing this way so we can just provide one constructor and we can pass the this parameter here and then we can get a uh, one callback which is on map ready callback we'll get one function which is on map ready inside the on map ready callback interface so we can do uh, whatever we want to do with this google map inside this function so we should change this name to from p0 to map cool so now i'll try to run the app and we'll see uh, how does it look now so our application is installed and as you can see our map is loaded so yeah uh, cool i'll just zoom it and yeah cool so let's just try to open this map at particular position so for that what i will do i have already searched for uh, delhi lat longs so i'll just uh, copy this uh, you can try with any lat longs that you want to open this map with so here i'll create one variable so val i'll name it as a light long and this will be equals to light long and this will come from our google maps uh, library that we added and here we can provide the latitude and longitude not in this degree format but yeah in the double format we can provide it cool and then we can use this map so map question mark dot move camera there is one function which is move camera and with this we can uh, uh, move this camera or move this map view to the particular position or particular location so here uh, we need to use camera update factory so camera update factory and dot new light long and here we need to pass that light long that we just created so now i'll try to run the app and we'll see our map open side this location or not cool so our application is installed and yeah as you can see uh, our map opens at india so yeah and its center is delhi so we can also provide a zoom functionality here so instead of dot new light long uh, you can just write new light long with zoom parameter so this light long and we can provide some zoom value so i'll write 19f and i'll try to run the app again so now our map will open at certain zoom level so yeah it is installed and as you can see uh, with 19f uh, with this zoom value we got our map so i'll just i'll just try to zoom out it so yeah uh, that is delhi cool so in the next video what we'll do uh, we will work on how we can change the uh, google map type so how we can change it to satellite uh, terrain and other map types that google provide so yeah there are multiple functions that google maps provide and multiple properties that we can set so i'll cover all of that in this series so yeah uh, stay tuned for the next one and do subscribe thank you very much